Pull, 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 pull. Hold it. And release. In exactly 10 seconds, the nicotine inhaled from a cigarette hits your brain. A neurochemical explosion takes place. Dopamine and other endorphins take over your stresses and calms you down. Finally, a breath of relief. At last you get to feel good again. The relief is short-lived, however, as a co-worker pulls you out of your smoke break, back to the rat race you go. Believe it or not, this is the situation of more than 40% of adults worldwide. And every year more than 200 million people try to stop smoking. The funny thing is, most smokers state that they are aware of the risks involved. Some smokers even open up and say that they're afraid to stop smoking because they've heard that people who stop smoking gain a lot of weight. So the question for today is, is it true? Will you gain a lot of weight if you stop smoking? To understand how smoking affects our weight, we must first know how weight loss really works. Three main concepts should be considered. Firstly, the concept of calories in, calories out. If you consume more energy in the day than your body needs, your body has to store it. The excess energy will be stored in the form of fat and that's how you gain weight. Secondly, we have to know how hormones like insulin play a role in energy storage. And lastly, we have to know how satiety works, the effects cigarettes have on our appetite. You probably know by now that I will always give you the most scientific answer to this question. That's why you're subscribed to the channel. Which, by the way, if you aren't already, please hit the subscribe button below. As I was saying, you know by now how dedicated I am to the science world. So you can imagine how devastated I was learning about all the lies cigarette companies pushed back in the day in scientific journals and other forms of media. This article published in a scientific journal stated that smoking will help you lose weight by suppressing your appetite. Thousands of people believed it to be true, and that's how the story began. Years later, after big pharma companies started to take over the economic power from the cigarette companies, they started to expose their dark motives. And we now know the truth of how bad cigarettes really are for us. If you're watching this video and you're currently a smoker trying to figure out how big of an impact it will really have on your weight if you stop smoking, the answer is approximately 1.6 kilograms. That's it. A study following thousands of people showed that the average weight people gain after they stop smoking is about 1.6 kilograms, which really isn't a lot. To make things even better, allow me to teach you a thing or two about weight loss and cigarettes. We all know that cigarettes have nicotine in them. And we also all know that nicotine is the reason people get that feel-good sensation. But what we aren't aware of is that very molecule is also the thing that causes damage to the inner lining of our blood vessels, leading to thickening of the arterial walls and can eventually cause blood clots, which leads to strokes and heart attacks. What this also does, it decreases the ability of a hormone called insulin to transport energy, glucose molecules, from the blood into the cell wall to be used as energy. This is terrible and this is called insulin resistance. It is also the precursor for developing diabetes type 2, which trust me, you don't want. Once you're a diabetic, there's no coming back from it. You'll be reliant on insulin injections and pills for the rest of your life. But let's not wander into that deep hole. That first paper I showed you stating that cigarette smoking suppresses appetite, there's actually some truth behind it. Nicotine does stimulate the nervous system. More specifically, it stimulates the satiety center in the brain and inhibits a pathway that makes you feel hungry. This sounds great, but the unfortunate reality is your body will just adapt to the decreased intake of food over a long period of time. It will just decrease its metabolic rate to accompany this lack of food in the environment. Meaning that if you have already been smoking for a few years, odds are your body has already adapted to its new metabolic rate. And to stop smoking won't really have a massive effect on your weight anymore. So the only question remaining is, should you give up smoking for that small risk of gaining a little bit of weight? Because odds are, if you stop smoking without a nutrition plan in place, you'll most likely gain a bit of weight. In my honest opinion, while I was first studying non-communicable diseases, meaning lifestyle diseases that aren't transferred from one human to another, I was shocked at the sheer amount of research showing how scary cigarettes can really be. Almost every single disease I delved into stated that the primary trigger, the primary cause was cigarette smoking. I mean heart disease, atherosclerosis, cancer as we're all aware of, even arthritis. And the list goes on and on and on. So yes, double yes. If you just spend a little bit of time learning the concept of calories in, 
calories out, you can undoubtedly drop the cigarettes without gaining a single kilogram of weight. In fact, in the long term, improvements in hormone health and insulin sensitivity could all in all just help you lose more weight. I've had clients in the past who joined my program and stopped smoking and their results were incredible. Sometimes we just have to look past our excuses to get to who we are really meant to be. Beating an addiction like this will never be easy, but luckily there's an abundance of programs online available to help you work through it and break free. I really want to encourage you, take control of your lifestyle and diet and you'll see the rippling effects thereof all around you. You're not meant to be a slave to food and cigarettes. Sometimes doing something like this alone can be overwhelming. I know. You're more than welcome to say hi on Instagram. My DMs are always open. I love to help. I hope you gained some value from this video. The next one's gonna be on coffee and how that affects our weight and our body. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you there. As you know, we post every Monday evening. All right, remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.